made me start thinking, well, how's that going to work? Bob Steele's latest chain confusion. I guess. Everybody claims it's supposed to cut faster. I haven't seen that yet. All right, everybody, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Steele's latest chain confusion, I guess you could call it, with their mid-sized saws. They decided at some point to redesign the chain that they have been using on their, we'll say, 50 to 60 size saws. Um, they've been basically the same for a long time. And I don't know if people are watching our videos, if you have, uh, you may remember that I'm a recent steel convert. I've only switched over to them in the last 10 years or so. Before this, I always ran uh, Husqvarna and, uh, and uh, Jones Red. Now, what I want to point out is, <laughs> I went into the store the other day and I bought a, uh, another mid-sized saw. I wanted to uh, get rid of my old big saw. And uh, the one that I use all the time anyway is this 261. So I didn't really want to spend the money on getting a second 261. So I ended up looking at the power to weight ratio specs for the saws. And I decided instead of getting the MS-271, I'd jump up to the 291 because it has a little bit horsepower to weight ratio. And it's still a lot lighter than my old MS-361. And at the time, another big feature was going to be that the buyers and chains would all interchange with the MS-261 that I've already had for several years, which is a great saw. I've had no problems with it, uh, no problems with chains, no problems with buyers, no problems with anything really. Uh, but I guess I always assumed that the chains that were on these smaller saws of steels were pretty much the same as the ones that Husky and Joe Thread used. And I went on with my life not knowing and not caring. <laughs> well, I go down to the store and I, I pick myself up this 291, which is a great saw, incidentally. We'll do a review on that. Uh, but I noticed it had this different print on the bar. This one says Light 04. This one is the old Rollomatic E that Steele's been using forever. So I asked the guy behind the counter, what's the difference? And basically he just told me it was a different design. And I never paid any attention. I just thought he meant the ink. <laughs> so I get the saw home and I find out that it's actually an altogether different buying chain than what's on my 261. So I kind of shot myself in the foot. I, I should have looked into it, I guess, a little, a little deeper. But... In hindsight, I really don't think it's going to matter. Um, the difference is, both of these chains on these saws, uh, 325 pitch chains, which means it's .325 from rivet to rivet. Okay, and that's the that's your pitch. Um, they uh, both are filed with a 316 file. The curve is exactly the same. The only thing that I see that's any different is the drivers are like 10 thousandths thinner on this than they are on this. So the oldest steel saws, the drive links that actually ran on your sprocket or in your sprocket, depending on which kind of a sprocket you have, uh, are actually thicker on the older saw. Which made me start thinking, well, how's that gonna work? I, I started doing a little bit of research and what I found out was steel's new chain that's supposed to be Everybody claims it's supposed to cut faster. I haven't seen that yet, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, really, it's almost the identical chain that Husqvarna and Jones Red have been running for years because they they also run that thin driver. So there's really no there's really no difference between that and the chains that I've been running. The change was when I switched to steel and, and was running a, a thicker driver without knowing it. So I don't know if steel is catching up or why they're doing this in the first place. I don't know. Time will tell. Uh, doing a little bit of research on it, I did find out that it has enabled them to make a bar that's actually thinner and lighter. So I guess they could have been going after saving some weight on the bar. I mean, if you think about it, I, you know, every one of the rakers, every one of the uh, drive lengths, not the rakers, uh, like uh, 10 or 15 thousandths thinner. I mean, you're not going to save much. I mean, that might add up to, you know, <laughs> it isn't even going to be an ounce, so it's going to be pretty small. But I, I guess it all counts. But um, 
so far, I can't see much of a difference between that and the other chain. So I think it's kind of uh, much to do about nothing because uh, as far as I can tell, just got to pick one and go with it. Um, I'm going to decide eventually which one of these chains I'm going to pick. If steel even continues to make the old style chain, I don't know that they will. Maybe this is something they're going to switch over to all the uh, 50 and 60 cc saws to. I don't know. I can't get a straight answer. All I've heard is speculation. But here's what I am going to tell you. The only drawback that I've seen so far is that they're different size drivers, different thickness. Uh, they cut just the same. They file just the same. So I guess the availability is the only thing that you really need to concern yourself with. So when you go to the store, if that's what they have, I would buy that. I see that it makes no difference. Some people say it cuts faster. I could take these two saws with the exact same Byron chain, and I mean the same Byron chain from one saw, put it on the other saw, and we can test them all day long. One day this one's going to win, one day this one's going to win. They're that close in performance. The chain doesn't seem to make that much difference. So there's really no sense in standing here for an hour and doing, you know, cutoff trials and trying to prove to you what everybody else has already proved, that some people say it's faster, some people say it's not. I, and I'm not comparing the two chainsaws themselves in any way because they're not really comparable other than basic size and weight. But they're both great saws. So if you're confused, well, so was I. Um, but I don't think in the grand scheme of things it's going to matter all that much. I think, uh, like I said, you just pick one and go with it. And uh, that's what I plan on doing. Right now I'm leaning towards the old style because I've got more chains that are that size than I do the new style. But those are only chains, and they're, they're uh, kind of consumables anyway, as, as, as are the buyers, really. So I guess it really doesn't matter. But it's confusing, and I, I kind of wish that they'd do a better job of explaining to people what the difference actually is without letting YouTube do that work for them because, boy, if somebody that really doesn't have any idea about even what a drive link is is going to be awfully confused. <laughs> In reality, it just, it just doesn't matter. Just go right back to picking the saw that you want and buy that saw. And I would say you're fine with either one of these chains and bars. Doesn't make any difference to me, and I run one quite a bit. I don't know. Your mileage may vary, but those are my thoughts on it. Thanks for watching, and if you like our content, like and subscribe. If you're looking for more information on steel chainsaws, check out this next video.